What's going on dudes? Nick here or RJ Gaming and welcome back to story time. Today guys, we have a brand new story for you. It actually was part of the poll last week and it tied with the topic that came out last week, which was the worst most abusive staff member that I've ever had. Now today's story is going to be about what got me into Minecraft, why I made a server, and what I wanted it to be versus where it's at today. So if you wanted to see the worst abusive staff member, go ahead and go back and watch last week's video. But today, that is what we're going to be talking about is Minecraft and servers. So since this actually has three parts to it, I figured I'm going to start with each part individually and kind of go through like each part of it. So first of all, what got me into Minecraft? Well, it's actually kind of a funny story. I never really heard too much about Minecraft. At the time, I was very active in other games. I was playing a lot of like Counter-Strike Source, and uh, it, it, I guess that's kind of about it. So I was I was running the RGA League, and that was a Counter-Strike Source League, had a couple other games on there, and it was a competitive league. And I was always on YouTube just watching different videos, and a video got suggested to me called, I think it was like Griefing on... A Minecraft server and I, I had no idea I had never heard the term griefing before so it was completely new to me I had no idea what it was I'm like okay well let's just click it and I watched the video and a kid got uh, banned for basically going into someone's house and taking something out of a chest now I had no idea how anything in Minecraft worked so I watched the video and I was like I have no idea what that was what's griefing I, I still don't know what griefing is and then it linked me to another set of videos by team avo who used to be a group of people that would go around and try to like get their way into op on servers and then just destroy them or they would actually do it without getting op as well but those took a lot longer so you know that's kind of i started binge watching those i'm like dude this is this is hilarious they, they they're going through these servers and they're you know turning buildings into like sponge and like all these crazy different things and it was just it was funny i'm just watching i'm like that's awesome you know they're blowing things up putting lava on it breaking tons of things i'm like that's great this is funny content and then uh it kind of got me involved with minecraft a little bit. i was like you know what i need to try this game it, it looks kind of fun it's interesting you can kind of make whatever you want with it so i bought an account and decided to create my own server now if you guys don't know me very well then you should probably know by now that i love running servers it's something i've done forever pretty much like every game i've played that you can run a server for i've always tried to do it mainly because if uh if there's issues on the server i'd like to be able to handle it because there are a lot of servers out there that have no active mods or staff and i hate playing on something i hate investing a lot of time to have some hackers come on and just ruin it or some kid come on and just be a complete idiot and for me like that's a kind of a deal breaker so that's why i've always ran my own servers i hate not having the ability to ban someone who's just spamming you know racist stuff or just really rude things and you know that's kind of why i started so i i started doing that and then i had a few friends that played as well and i invited them to my server and you know we got on there we played and we started building some stuff built little cities and then one day I logged back in and my entire city is destroyed. Everything's just blown up. It's broken and it was just completely destroyed. Now, this was a vanilla server. There was no plugins. There was no grief prevention or anything like that. I didn't even know what that stuff was then. But at that moment, I kind of realized that, hey, griefing is actually really bad. It took a long time to build that stuff and someone just comes in and destroys it all. So. It was it's kind of a sad day but then since then it kind of made me want to learn more about you know how to run a server without having that issue and that's kind of along the time when uh i started looking into you know how to run a server i didn't start developing plugins yet i didn't really have the ambition to do that so i started downloading some of the free stuff um but even that stuff i was very limited on i didn't really know a ton about any of that stuff so i actually found a few servers that had everything ran for me and i just played on their servers because it was just too much work at the time for me to try to set up so after playing on a few servers i ended up you know long story short if you guys want to hear the story about the ender race days that's actually a uh, server owner stories from a couple weeks ago so I think it's titled something like my Minecraft server almost had a different name or something like that. So go check that one out if you want to hear that full story. But long story short, I started wanting to, uh, you know, create my own Minecraft server. And it happened 
after one of the servers that Donnie and I used to play on kind of got shut down. It was the old VicCraft server. It was basically dedicated to Hunger Games, and that thing was super popular. And they kind of got rid of it. And I was like, well, that's not really cool. That I want to play that thing still. I think it'd be fun. So I was like, you know, how hard could it be to create a plugin? So I started looking up how to make plugins and my goal was to kind of make like a mini game server kind of like theirs was and so my first plugin was actually a hub plugin. So it was basically the exact same menu that you see when you log into Performium now. You get the the compass, you get the rules book and you get the little hide show players thing. And you know, it was one of those things that was one of my first plugins. I didn't know how to do anything and like trying to figure that stuff out at the time was really really difficult actually there were a couple more menu items on there as well that have been removed over the years i think there was like i had cosmetics and you know trails or something else on there i had a bunch of stuff but that, all that stuff's kind of hidden out it's in other spots but uh that was kind of my initial goal was basically to create a server and have some mini games on there so after i got the hub set up it was a terrible hub it was just this literally i took world at it went um pause one pause two made a giant square and then i put walls around it and then i divided it into four sections and i had like a desert section a grass section and you know i never actually filled them in it was just basically i set the ground to the what i wanted the zone to be and that was about it so uh then i started beating back up the ender race guys and we decided to open an smp server and uh it was kind of based on the old dungeons thing so again i mean this whole story is covered a couple of videos ago i'm not gonna bore you guys with that but uh you know that's kind of what initially got me into making my own server was that after that server got shut down i just really wanted to have my own server and play minecraft on it so that's kind of how i got started i got started creating the hub plugin i created the hunger games plugin and i started working on some other stuff as well and then it kind of just branched out from there and then you know obviously we had an smp server and around that time is when i started doing a lot of my trolling videos because before that i used to just do you know, the most random miscellaneous stuff ever if you really go back on my channel there's some crazy crazy weird series and stuff that i had out there you know different types of tutorials for building and redstone and you know then i was on some other crazy servers like there's just so many things that i've done over the years and then, you know, once I had my own server, it actually gave me time to try to create more server-based content. And that's also when I started getting into a lot of the trolling. So it just, it that hand in hand started bringing more and more players to the server. I remember when I first created the server, it was just me and a couple friends on there. Maybe we'd have 10, 12 players on it. And then, you know, things slowly kept growing and growing and uh, over the course of, I, don't, I think it was about a year. It took a year for that server to really pick up and really take off. But once we kind of hit that year mark, my YouTube channel had had its best months of my entire life. I mean, literally, uh, I think it was like June, May, June, July, 2016 was just the best years I've ever had on YouTube. And it brought hundreds of new players into the server. Uh, so we immediately started getting capped out on all the servers. So we're like, well, all right, let's, uh, let's make an SMP too. And when that one got full, we were like, okay, let's make an SMP3. And then we opened a Skyblock server. And then we opened a Faction server. And it was more just that we needed somewhere for players to be and to handle that traffic. So we just like said, okay, fine, let's just, uh, let's add this one and then add that one. And it was just, it was a crazy experience because there's just so much stuff going on on the servers that we could barely even keep up with the growth. And, you know, ever since then, it just, it's really kind of propelled us forward and that's kind of really what brought performium to be where it is today so i mean like i said i'm not gonna dive into like the all the crazy details if you want to hear that go check out the other video but uh so yeah that's kind of what got me into minecraft and I, like you know what got me into minecraft is the griefing videos and i just thought it was hilarious and then i just wanted to have a server to mess around with so i did that played on that you know played on a bunch of other servers and it, like i said then it gave me ideas for creating my own server and you know that's that's the first two topics so then the final one is kind of like you know what i wanted the server to be versus where it's at now and i'm even going to add a third part onto that of where i want it to go in the future so initially like i said i wanted the server to be a a mini game server basically come on the server have a whole choice of different things that you could play on whether it was capture the flag hide and seek hunger games i mean i had so many mini games in mind and actually i still have a bunch of the code from a lot of the games i started developing over the years but the problem was the 
servers that seem to do the best for us were always like the you know survival servers and stuff because we could get those out super easily anytime something would update like a minecraft version this is before we knew how to like do anything major but like when a new minecraft version comes out we would launch a new server so i think like smp one started on 1.9 i think smp2 was uh 1.10 uh i think uh smp3 was 1.11 and then 1.12 came out and i think we relaunched smp1 and you know it's just it was one of the things that we just had to keep doing over the course of years but it allowed us to control the population because honestly like mini games are great but they're not really long-term game modes and you know players will come in they'll play them for a little bit but they want something else to do that's a little bit longer and that's why we started getting away from that route and i'm not saying that i didn't want and that i'm not happy with where it's at but that's basically where it started it was supposed to be just like a you know mini game server hop on there play give me somewhere to you know record and stream and that's kind of where it grew today um whereas today i mean currently we've got i think we've got like over a dozen servers on there now i mean we've got a multitude of just different smp servers and skyblock servers uh we've we've always experiment with new types of servers so i mean when, Mer when Minecraft releases new versions, we like to play around with that stuff. Um, we've tried so many different custom game modes over the years as well. I mean, some of you guys will remember things like Hardcraft or Gemcraft or um, Dungeons, which actually Dungeons is probably... Man, that could make a story about Dungeons on itself. Like, that used to be my pride and joy of the server because it was one of those things like I could play with my fans and it gave me creative room to create different dungeons and bosses and you know different mechanics within the game and it was something that i really liked so if there was one thing that i didn't keep up with and i kind of wish i would have it would have been the dungeons idea because it was just it was so unique nobody else really has anything like that out there it was very progressive based and it's just it would have been it would have been a really fun thing to have around but Unfortunately, the amount of time that it would have taken to keep bringing it to uh, up to date and keep new content and stuff coming would have been too much. And I, the biggest problem for me was finding builders to, you know, continuously build out the world. Because I had this massive like 10,000 by 10,000 world that was pre-gen with all kinds of stuff. But honestly, there's no way I could build it myself. I'm a horrible builder. But uh, I mean, that's one of the things, I guess, where I wanted the server to be that it, it doesn't have today. I mean, the server itself today, I am just completely astonished that, you know, it's doing as well as it is. I mean, we have an amazing community over there. If you log in, usually everyone will welcome you. Multiple people will welcome you on the servers. Some people actually offer to give you different resources. And there's just, there's so much, so many nice people that we've met over the years. And it's all because of the server community helping itself and policing itself. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, how come I can't swear? I can't do this or that. And it's because, you know, we want to have a nice community. I don't want to have something with my name on it that's toxic and, you know, not a good place to be. I always like to associate myself with people who are like me, who are respectful and kind. And it's just like, if you surround yourself with those types of people, then you're going to have a better life than if you're just around people that are negative and mean all the time, then you're just going to find yourself being more negative and meaner. So I just, I kind of, I'm really happy with where the server is at now. And I guess for the third part though, where I see the server going, I mean, that's, that's a huge, that's a huge thing that's always up in the air. It's one of those things that I never really know. I mean, and I say that because like, there's always there's always new ideas coming out there's always different things that get developed people want to play different games they want to play this game mode um i mean our core games are pretty set in stone but there's still things that i think that the server would definitely benefit from and it could be small features like adding on the mystery boxes and now we've got like the pets and leveling and stuff like that so there are lots of little features that we keep bringing to the server and if you guys ever have suggestions, obviously check out the the uh, Performium or the RGA subreddits if you guys are on Reddit. Uh, links are in my Discord, discord.gg slash RGA. But uh, yeah, so I mean, that's that's kind of where I see the server going. It's just, you know, following what everyone wants. That's, all, that's what we've always done. We try to accommodate, you know, the masses. I, I know people always get upset when we close servers and it's just, there's no way around that. Every, anytime you get rid of things that people like, there are, there are always going to be those who get upset. But the thing that I say 
is that even though there might be, let's say half a dozen people that get upset that a server is closing, when we launch a new server, there are hundreds and thousands of people that go through that new server that end up liking it and play there a lot. So at the end of the day, it's either, you know, we can make a couple people happy or we can make a lot of people happy. And I don't like upsetting people, but it's just, you know, there's no point for us to run servers that have two or three active people on it at any given time when we can replace it with something newer and more fun that, you know, 50, 60, 70 people could be on having fun with. So, you know, I that's kind of why I do things that way. Like I said, it's not because we're trying to be evil or anything like that. It's just that, you know, we really do try to keep everybody happy. So if you do have suggestions, definitely let me know on either Discord or on the subreddits. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's basically, I think I've answered everything. What got me into Minecraft, why I made a server, and what I wanted versus where it's at today, as well as where it's going to be in the future. So I, I do think that eventually I would like to try to bring back the dungeons thing i don't know every time i say this i just i can't get the builds done and i do know a couple of nice build teams but i mean i feel like the prices for that would be super super high and i don't know if i'm ready for that cost but i, I still think it would be a great thing for the server so I, I don't know i guess it's something we could talk about in discord maybe i'll create some channel there or maybe i could just i don't i don't know a good way to a lot because i did before try to put the world up there and let people randomly build stuff on it but that just quickly turned into a crapshoot where people would just go around claiming things building stupid things building half things or claiming land and never coming back i mean there was just too many problems with it and we tried to have our staff team do it but then like you have like 10 different people building 10 different things nobody can follow a single theme and it just it, it turned out pretty bad but if you guys have suggestions for things that you'd like to see let me know and if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure to hit that like button if you're new around here subscribe don't forget if there's anything you ever want to hear me answer on any of these server owner stories leave it in the comments below i do read them i do reply to them i might not reply to all of them but i do read your guys comments so definitely keep those coming and uh yeah i think that's it for this video so thank you guys for joining me hopefully you guys had a great day and i hope you have a great day every day and i will see you guys again next time goodbye everybody as always dudes thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and possibly check out one of these other videos here i think you really might like them but i'll see you guys next time goodbye everybody